legislation will correct the legislative oversight over 10 years ago. There was no oversight. Uh, this was intended to be limited. This was specifically intended not to give them broad police powers. They knew it at the time, and they know it now, unless those who were there then have simply forgotten about it. Now, they have more than jurisdiction over infractions and violations. They have jurisdiction over felonies. Your memo says they only have jurisdiction over infractions and violations. In fact, they have, infract they have uh, jurisdiction over felonies. And I'd like to know, why would we want to treat university police differently than police in the city of Albany, police in the town of Poughkeepsie, police in the city of Syracuse, and police in any other city or village or any county sheriff in any jurisdiction in this state? Why would we, why would we want to elevate the university city police to a status higher than theirs by giving them statewide authority? Uh, Madam President, through you, I'm not sure that we are elevating them to a status higher than, than uh, other law enforcement. My understanding is we are raising them to a status and giving them the ability to enforce violations and infractions off university property, similar to what they have under your original bill as it relates to felonies and misdemeanors. Madam Chair, would... Uh uh, Madam President, would Senator Valeski continue to yield? Senator Valeski, do you continue to yield? Yes. Uh, Senator, um, if that is the sole purpose of the bill, uh, that could be accomplished with very narrow language, without giving them um, the authority, and I call your attention to the section that you're amending, uh, or CPL section, uh, uh, I'm sorry, Yes, yeah, CPL section uh, 34A, a subsection D. If you look at 34A, you have several different types of jurisdiction or venue. The first one listed in A talks about geographical area of, of, of employment of any, of any police officer employed by the state or a statewide authority. The second one talks about geographical area of employment of a county, city, town, or village police officer. And the third one talks about authority, geographical area of employment where an authority functions in more than one county. By omitting the language that you're omitting, you are now giving university police statewide police authority, not merely the ability to enforce a fraction, an infraction while they're traveling from one campus to another, um, you are basically giving them statewide authority. Why would that's an authority that the Syracuse police don't have, that any of the police forces or sheriff's office that I named previously don't have. Why would you why would you want to do that? Why would you why would you want to restrict local law enforcement and give this status to university police when they knew full well from the get-go that their jurisdiction was going to be limited. Madam President, through you, I, I'm not sure that I agree that this bill restricts local law enforcement. This bill enhances the ability of SUNY police officers uh, off campus in, 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 in uh, arrangements that have been agreed to by the president of that university and the local law enforcement in that geographic area to well, cooperate and uh, in, in enter into cooperative agreements as it relates to the enforcement of infractions and violence. Through you, Madam President, uh, permit me to agree and disagree with you at the same time. Um, this does not, your bill does not restrict local law enforcement the current law restricts local law enforcement as it restricts university police. You're removing the restriction from the university police, continuing the restrictions on local law enforcement. Right now, a university policeman, much like the Syracuse City policeman, can 
leave his or her jurisdiction in hot pursuit where they've observed a felony. They can do that. To that extent, they're equals. You're now saying that you want university police to have a greater, much greater jurisdiction than does any municipal police force, than does any sheriff's department. You are basically giving them statewide authority, which flies in the face of what happened and what they understood was happening when they were given police officer status. So, I mean, do you want all police officers to have that ability or just SUNY police officers to have that ability? Madam President, I, again, the intent of this legislation is to allow SUNY, the university police force, to be able to enforce infractions and violations of the law off campus in accordance with a previously agreed to written arrangement uh, with the local law enforcement agency. They currently have the ability to do that uh, where they have a satellite campus. They can go to the satellite campus, have the same jurisdiction they have in the existing campus. Your issue, which I think you're trying to describe, is the one that says if they're traveling from campus A to campus B, a distance of a mile and a half, they cannot enforce an infraction that might occur between A and B. And I'm saying to you that that can be accomplished in a much tighter fashion than to give them statewide jurisdiction. You could simply put in a bill that says that, that in the course of traveling from campus to campus, they will have the authority to enforce infractions or violations. Senator but Salah. that's not what your bill does. Senator Salah, did you want to speak on the bill or do you want uh, Senator Dulesky to continue to you? I'd like him to continue to you. Okay. Uh, would that Is not be for purposes of what you would hope to do, would that not be a sounder means by which to do it instead of giving them statewide police authority from the tip of Montauk to Buffalo up to the Canadian border? You, Madam President, would Senator Saland repeat his question once again, please? Senator Saland, would you repeat I don't, your I don't, question? I, I'm not sure how I can answer the question any differently than I previously answered it, is my challenge. My, my question to you was, if in fact your desire, if you're, if, you're, if you're motivated by the desire to provide them with the authority to be able to enforce a violation or an infraction that they might observe traveling between campuses. Is there not a better way to do that than to give them the authority to have police authority in every corner of the state? Because by deleting the language that you're deleting, you are effectively doing that. I don't disagree with what it is that you're trying to do if, in fact, that is the limits of what you're trying to do. But there's a way to do that without opening up the entire state to enforcement authority by university police. Madam President, I, I think Senator Saland has raised um, some important issues here in regard to the intent of this legislation. And if, as the sponsor of the original law, um, if he believes that the drafting of this bill exceeds certainly my intent of this bill, I'd be more than happy to work with Senator Saland uh, to constrain the language of, of this bill to what my intent of this bill is. So as a result, I'd like to lay the bill aside for the day. The bill is laid aside.